Thanks for staying with us. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Janice Allen. A paper plant in Kalamazoo is facing new scrutiny over a plan to remove hundreds of trees near the Kalamazoo River. Graphics Packaging International is already facing a lawsuit over alleged air pollution, and now residents are worried that the tree will, uh, removal will only make it worse. Our Lauren Edwards reports. 700 trees is a heck of a lot. Like, I just cannot believe this. And it's right by the river, too. Brandy Crawford Johnson concerned about a proposal that would allow consumers energy to remove 700 trees from along the Kalamazoo River near her home and Graphic Packaging International. These trees are everything. They, they help our air, our water, our health, and, and we need to be able to breathe clean air. And they help combat the pollution that she says stems from the plant. Under the proposal, consumers energy would remove the trees to put up new power lines for GPI. It's not only going to affect our health, but it's affecting our wildlife, our environment. I mean, this is crazy to me. Crazy because since May, she says she's been smelling the odor, which has affected her health, causing her asthma to flare up and her eyes to burn. Even though we're completely like poisoned and polluted by this company, I'm sure those 700 trees helped prevent a little bit of it. Crawford Johnson was so fed up with the smell, she and others recently filed a civil lawsuit against GPI. And also, she reached out to the EPA. I feel like the EPA should get down there and shut them down until they fix this toxic gas leak and put some pollution prevention measures into place. She's also reached out to the tree committee with the city of Kalamazoo and Consumers Energy, hoping that someone will listen and act before a final approval. Why would you cut down 700 trees? You see the West Coast burning. You see all these hurricanes. I mean, this is real. Climate change is real, and we do not need 700 trees taken down. Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. And GPI, the city and consumers energy released a joint statement saying that that tree removal is necessary to provide reliable energy to the company's $600 million expansion. They add that it will create a thousand construction jobs and more than two dozen permanent jobs. Consumers energy also says it made a pledge last year to plant 2,500 new trees in Kalamazoo County.